Hello, in this episode we will mention random first algorithm in Python. You are expected to clone or download Chefboost framework. I have already downloaded it. In the root directory I am going to create a Python 3 notebook and name it random first. Import framework firstly. Import chef boost as chef. The dataset I'm going to use is under dataset and car dot data. It's a car evaluation dataset based on some features such as being a number of doors, number of persons, luggage boot and safety and uh, the decision will be acceptable or unacceptable. Number of rows in the dataset is 1729. I'm going to need the pandas to read the dataset. Here data frame is equal to pandas dot read csv and pass the location of the dataset. Dataset slash car dot data and print the uh, first five rows of the data set data frame dot head here we can build the random first classifier but why do we need to random first that's why firstly build a uh, regular decision tree this block is for regular decision tree and transform it to markdown here we are going to call chef dot fit and here we are going to pass the data frame and configuration file and let's initialize the configuration file here we will pass the algorithm for example it could be id3 and store the learning step to the model variable building the id3 decision tree is over and accuracy is 100 percent but it smells overfitting on the other hand uh, building lasts uh, 15 seconds it's a long time for this kind of data set alternatively we can apply random first To do it, we are going to change the configuration line. Let's copy from the uh, readme file on the framework. And here you can find the random first configuration. It expects enable random first variable as true and it expects number of trees. Here we are going to call same fit line again random first algorithm is actually built decision rules under outputs and rules folder here you can see the uh, rules uh, from 0 to 4.py uh, files here rules.py file is created by the id3 algorithm in our previous step random first algorithm separates the training set uh, to the five different uh, sub data sets and applies id3 algorithm over these sub data sets and here are the decision rules for these sub data sets let's see the inside of these sub uh, decision rules for example rules 0.py and rules 1.py they are different as seen let's see the predictions to do it i'm going to use chef.predict here i'm going to pass model as input and i'm going to pass the testing features for example i can use the features of the uh, first training set item very height for the first feature very height for the second feature two for the third feature again two for the fourth feature small and low this 
going to be my prediction let's see the prediction it's unacceptable and its actual value was unacceptable too this means that uh, random force can't classify this item correctly you can also make prediction uh, like that instead of passing the uh, exact values here pass data frame dot i look and index value it's unacceptable the question is that how can this decision is made remember that uh, random first uh, builds five different decision trees let's build a for loop here for i in range from zero to number of length of the uh, decision trees we can restore these decision trees uh, there is a function under commons.functions.py here uh, i'm going to call uh, from commons import functions and in the for loop i'm going to call functions.restore tree function it expects the modern name and modern name was outputs slash remember the name outputs slash rules slash rule and index value here i'm going to pass the index value and i can transfer it like that and this is going to be my tree here I'm going to call tree dot find decision and pass the input features here pass data frame dot iloc and for example 241 index value remember the input of this and this is my prediction and uh, let's print the prediction for each uh, decision tree Here, a uh, number of unacceptable uh, predictions are more than number of uh, acceptable predictions. That's why this instance is predicted as unaccepted. Validated. Uh, call this block again for the uh, 241 index value. So, we have mentioned random first algorithm in this episode. It avoids overfitting, besides, uh, it, it speeds up the performance of the building decision tree algorithm thank you for watching and see you next time